Hi guys, welcome back. I am so excited to be filming this one today. And without just me rambling on and on and on, I want to introduce you to the La Roche-Posay Hyla B5 Aqua Gel SPF 30. <laughs> so I had to order this from Europe. It came to me actually from Portugal. One of my favorite places to order is Sweet Care. <laughs> That's the website, but I will list other options for people in the US. Just be aware, it takes a little bit longer. I Sometimes it takes less time, sometimes it takes longer, but it usually is just a matter of like actually getting through customs in the US. I find that they ship it really quickly, it gets over the US and then it just sits in customs. But I'm willing to pay that price because I want some of these sunscreens that we cannot get in the US. And if you don't know why, that is because the FDA regulates sunscreens in the US, which is fine, but we are so outdated on our UV, UVA, UVB, you know, UV filters, <laughs> um, that we can't get some of these newer filters that they have in Europe. So people like me that are crazy about sunscreen, just order it and get it shipped anyway. Oh my gosh, I'm just noticing do I have two zits on my nose? That's crazy. Okay, anyway, we are, and by we, I mean me, I'm gonna be reviewing this today. I've got everything all lined up for you guys. I will be putting it on my face. So before we get going, like always, please do like, subscribe, you know the drill. I um, just really appreciate every time you guys do that. It helps my channel tremendously and immensely. that's not a word, but thank you in advance for doing that. <laughs> Okay, let's hop into this review. So as I mentioned, this is La Roche-Posay Hyla B5 Aqua Gel, and it is SPF 30, and it is a chemical sunscreen. Um, it retails for around $30. You can kind of find it on sale here or there, and I forget, I don't know what that is in pounds or other currencies like euros, but for me, it's like a mid-range. Um, $30 is still a little pricey, I would say, for a lot of things, but you do get 1.7 fluid ounces or 50 milliliters. And it does come with this little like squeezy tube with the pump right here. So the filters that we have in it, like I mentioned, it's a chemical or organic sunscreen, and you have a nice blend of different UVA and UVB filters. Some of them are older, some of them are newer. You have avobenzone, Mexoro XL, Octocrylene, Juvenal T, Homosalate, and Octosalate. So some newer ones, some older ones, like I said. Most of them are pretty photostable, not all, but they. I would say that the mix of them is a good combination for good UVA and UVB protection. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna apply it to my face. <laughs> So as you can see, it squirts out and it comes in really like a gel consistency, which is what it says it is. Um, and when you start applying it, it goes on absolutely 100% invisibly, which is a really great thing. Now, the next thing that I tend to talk about is scent. <laughs> and first let me apply it and then I'll tell you. So it is fragranced. It is very, very strongly fragranced. I have found a lot of European sunscreens smell like this. To me, they smell like old lady. It's just like um, a classic, like old perfume type scent, which I wouldn't even say it's fragrance. It's like a perfume and it's on your face and you can smell it very clearly. And I don't feel like it necessarily goes away super quickly. I don't know if I would say that I can smell it at the end of an eight hour day, but it's definitely there. Like I can still smell it on my face and I do not like the scent. That's me personally. Um, you may, but I'm gonna be honest with you, that is my least favorite part of this sunscreen. And yes, I did put a lot on. And yes, I am shiny. We'll get to that. So the ingredient call outs in this product are pretty bare or to a minimum, I would say. Um, the main one obviously is hyaluronic acid. It has it in the name. And then the only other one that really kind of is highlighted on the website or in the ingredient list is vitamin B5, which is also known as Panthenol. Um, it's a great ingredient for skincare products, also for sunscreens, no issue with that. Most people are not gonna find any sensitivities to either one. Although hyaluronic acid sometimes can be a bit much for some people's skin. They do mention that this sunscreen is a minimalist formula and they say that it's kind of done for sensitive skin, which the ingredient list does kind of show that. There's just not a lot in there. It's a pretty standard, like just 
run-of-the-mill sunscreen but my question is why would they put fragrance like so much fragrance in if you're trying to do a minimalist sensitive skin friendly formula they also added color the blue is not natural that's a coloring um again like if you want a minimalist formula just keep it clear or like a little cloudy i don't i don't think people really care that it's blue or not okay <laughs> and the question nobody is asking is what is the finish like it's dewy it is uh one of the dewiest formulas i have i do really like that um but not for me in the summer my skin is normal sometimes oily in the summer and then in the winter it can be a little dry so i guess like combo skin but it's very clearly like too much for me right now. I'm gonna continue to wear it today just because I'm not going anywhere and like, whatever. I can look like a disco ball today. I, no one's gonna see me, but this would be way too much for me to just walk out of the house in. People would be like, why did you put oil all over your face? <laughs> so I would not recommend this for oily skin. For dry skin, your skin would probably just soak this up and love it and bathe in it. So this is definitely targeted to more dry skin people. It would also be just a fabulous base for makeup if you are putting like more foundation on because it would just have this glow underneath your skin and it does. Um, that is really great under makeup. It's also just not, there's nothing to it. Like it's not gonna pill. I've never found it to be an issue if I apply a lot. Um, so it does sit under makeup really nicely. So for me, I obviously, I think I mentioned this before, I would wear this under makeup or in the winter. It's just a lot for me in the summer. I don't mind the dewy look, but this is a little too dewy. I would have to powder it, which I don't really wanna do all the time. Um, but yeah, you know, different strokes for different folks. And then my ranking. So I want, wanted, still do want to love this one. And I do for so many reasons. I just cannot get over the fragrance. The fragrance is just too much. It's kind of like, I tried the La Roche-Posay Anthelios, the one I got from Europe. I made a mistake and I got the fragrance version. They also have a fragrance free, which I should have ordered. But this smells pretty much like that. And it's just an overwhelming, like perfumey scent that I don't love, don't love at all. But I would give it, I would say like a solid seven and a half to eight. If you are okay with the fragrance and if you are okay with the dew factor, then you're gonna love it. If those are two things that you cannot stand, obviously the rating would be lower. But for me, I think it's a really great, like minimalist, but with fragrance sunscreen. And I do love it. I can't wait for the winter weather and like cooler weather to try this. I think it's gonna look fabulous. And I am super happy with it. I just, you know, a few things. If La Roche-Posay is listening, I would like a fragrance-free version of this. And I would like these filters in the US. Just a small wish list. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna keep it short and sweet today. I think this is, just like it says, minimalist formula. I think there's not too much about it. You either know if it's gonna work for you or not because of this like intense dewy glowy factor or the fragrance. Um, so I think it's probably an easy choice for a lot of people. And yeah, I hope this review helped and I will see you guys in my next video.